Welcome to the National Weather Service Missoula Planning Briefing for Wednesday, December 22nd. The key points we need to make in this briefing are that through Thursday morning we're anticipating light snow and freezing rain spreading across the northern Rockies. Follow that up by Thursday afternoon and evening, a cold front and snow squalls will move through the region, followed by vigorous snow bands all the way through Friday morning. Saturday through next week, we're anticipating a high probability of sustained Arctic air over the region, including below zero temperatures, gusty east winds, and wind chills that are below negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. We also want to make special mention of Sunday through Monday when wind, snow, and cold temperatures will combine for a high impact event for much of the northern Rockies. Here's the weather impact overview and the weather threat matrix. We can see the snow and freezing rain across the region on Thursday, followed by the cold front snow squalls targeting west central and southwest Montana on Friday, followed by the Arctic air coming over the divide and spreading west and south over time through west central Montana and pretty much the entire northern Rockies by the time we get to Monday. That combined with the snow that will be coming in Sunday night through Monday will create a high impact event for most areas. Thursday morning, our wintry mix is in these valleys highlighted in yellow. You can see much of northwest Montana, west central Montana, and north central Idaho highlighted here. Don't forget that also mountain snow uh, over area mountain passes will also impact travel on the Thursday morning period. Next up is the Thursday afternoon and evening cold front snow squalls. Here's our hatched area where the most likely impacts for snow squalls will be. Snow squalls are brief, whiteout conditions with blowing snow and very difficult travel. These will be targeted mostly in the Thursday 1 through 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time time frame. Now look at upcoming temperature trends. Here we're looking at Saturday morning, December 25th, low temperatures. Our best forecast here in the larger font showing teens in western Montana and low 20s in north central Idaho. Pretty typical for this time of year. But we're also showing the range of forecast uh, lows and we're going here from 0 degrees to 22 in Kalispell. What we see over time through the Sunday and Monday period that the low range of the forecast and the best range of the forecast have gone down quite a bit for Kalispell. And they are also going down for Butte, Missoula and eventually Grangeville. And each day, this is going to cool even further, even for the best forecast, to well below zero for all of western Montana. And then finally, for north central Idaho, by the time we get to Thursday morning. Some of the more pessimistic forecasts put temperatures at lower than negative 20 degrees and even negative 30 degrees by the time we get to Thursday morning. With these really cold temperatures and the winds that will be coming over from the east side of the divide, it is now the time to prepare. Consider putting a winter car survival kit in your vehicle if you plan on traveling around the northern Rockies next week. It's going to be very cold and there may be snow that may cause your travel plans to get interrupted or make roads impassable at times. We also want to look at the snow possibilities. So here we're looking at the three-day snow total through Sunday evening. And this is the middle of the road snow forecast. So pretty much everywhere around the northern Rockies I've got circled here is seeing some snow, including almost eight inches in Kalispell, a couple inches in Missoula, a couple inches in, in Butte. We also have a foot and a half plus over Lookout Pass and uh, about a half a foot near Orfino, Idaho. But this is the middle of the road forecast. And we want to give you a sense of how different the more extreme forecast is. So here we go to a more extreme forecast where we have over two feet over Lookout Pass. But more importantly, Kalispell, Orofino, Idaho, and also Lowell, Idaho, seeing quite an increase in snow amounts for this time in the extreme case. So we need to prepare now in the case that we could realize this forecast. And certainly with cold air coming over from the east side of the divide, there's a great amount of uncertainty with just exactly how much amounts are. Now is the time to prepare. 
Thanks for joining us today for this presentation. We hope you found it useful. Call us for more details. We're here 24-7, 365 at the numbers on the screen. We hope you have a safe holiday season, and we'll see you on the next briefing.